Welcome to Atlas. This is a tutorial on how to add an additional customer type. And if you're adding an additional customer type to an existing customer, you can come under Quick Search, click on Customer, and then type in a little bit of that customer's either name, phone number, or email address, or business name. Once you've found that customer, if you come over here to the side and you go to the log, the log will always show you all of the information about this customer as well as a bunch of individual links up here at the top that you can look up information and sales history etc. You're going to have the main customer information here so this is our main customer Fled Friendstone of course and then if you come down these are his additional contra contact address information and this is what, the, what I'm talking about adding so we have his wife, his daughter and his son if we want to add an additional one, I could say that this one is his dog, and we'll just say his dog's name is uh, Rock. And if you wish, you can fill in addresses, information, and such. There's also, at the bottom here, is a link that says if you want this to show up on every invoice. So I'll give you an example of this. Say, for instance, you're dealing with a company that has a main office but you're always delivering product to their to one of their stores which is at a different address you could do an invoice to that customer so that when you send the bill out it goes to the proper um, accounts payable department but yet when you're delivering the product you could have it show up here and then your contact type up here could be location this this field here you can name whatever you wish so you could interface it either with an individual, as in this case, wife or dog or son, or you could interface it with a business as where this would be an additional location, a ship to address, um, whatever that you wish. Um, once you add the contact information and you go back to customer log, then you're going to see that that shows up down here. The other thing that's important is all of these contact information can show up on an invoice so if you were to come up here and and start a new cart for this current customer and I'll just choose any location just to be able to show you this here it says add additional contact information or this is the quick multi contact address so this is the link to add another contact this is the link to get to those contacts so if I click on that I can come in here and I can say hey I do want to add the wife in here as a ship to address and I want to add the son in here as the end user possibly and then you can add these to it and so then now your invoice now has ship to Wilma and end user is Bam Bam. So you can get really creative with Fred Flintstone being the customer up here and a ship to being as an additional contact or as an end user. If I go back to Fred's log, if Fred is just Fred and he we're not shipping to him or he doesn't have any end users, these serve as just placeholders for additional um, customer information. Um, you can have as many of these as you wish. So you could actually have a company that you have all of their managers and their salespeople and their representatives and things listed down here. Plus you also have their, their um, different ship to addresses and things like that. So this gets really deep. You can also search as a relation between the customer contact and the address uh, person or the main customer. And those are handled on the on the customer homepage on the advanced search there's options to be able to search so once again this was a tutorial on how to add a customer contact type and what I did was I typed in uh, Fred's name chose customer and then I went to his log which is over here on the right hand side and then I scrolled down to his additional contact information and you can click on that to add. Um, also as an interest too when you're setting up a brand new customer these there's three of these fields that exist below the main customer information and you can at that time add them in if you wish or you can just go ahead and set the customer up and then come back later and start adding these in. So this concludes how to add an additional customer contact um, and address and thank you for choosing Atlas.